The last time I worked on the chainstay yoke was back in episode 4. Now it's time to braise it all together and miter it to the bottom bracket shell. The biggest challenge of this step is mitering the nearly 5mm thick plates of the yoke. But I recently made some modifications to my miter finisher that should help. This will be the first time using the miter finisher since I changed the abrasive from standard 3M emery cloth to 3M Cubitron 2. This should be a big improvement, especially when it comes to mitering the thick walled yoke. The first step is getting everything nice and shiny with emery cloth. I'll be using my cheap welding table to braise the yolk. Most tacking and brazing is done in the jig or in the park stand, but neither of those would work for this kind of thing, so it's nice to have the welding table as an option. After cleaning everything with isopropyl, it's ready for flux. Getting flux on all the surfaces was a bit of a process, but having it partially clamped to the table helped. Compared to standard bike tubing, these thick plates need a lot of preheating, even just for attack. Once it's tacked together, I let it cool down and then add some more flux. With the amount of heating it takes to get these plates up to temperature, I made sure to add plenty of flux. As I'm heating the plates up, you'll see me poking the plates with the rod to see if they're hot enough. It takes a little while, but once everything is up to temp, the brazing goes pretty quick. It doesn't seem like this would be that big a job, but there are a lot of fillets here. All four sides of the tab and slot need to be braised, both inside and out. Then I need to repeat all that for the tab and slot on the other side. Here's some close-up footage of me brazing the other side of the yoke.
Here it is after soaking for about 20 minutes in some steaming hot water. It turned out pretty good. Now I'm marking the bottom bracket shell miter using the template I drew up in episode 4. You may have noticed that the ends of the yoke already have small miters. I did a quick trowel run with the new abrasive and the fixture I cobbled together to hold the yoke. I don't use my angle grinder much, but it comes in really handy for this type of thing. I mentioned in a previous video how nice it is to have extra bits and pieces of 80-20 around to make small fixtures. This is a perfect example. Like I said at the beginning, this is the first time using the 3M Cubitron 2 abrasive, and it worked really well. No smoking or heat stains, the abrasive itself held up much better, and it seemed to remove material quicker. I did a summer internship at 3M several years ago, and one of the coolest parts of my time there was every week I got to spend an afternoon touring a different project area. The week I went to the abrasives division, the 3M guy grabbed a 1 inch solid rod of 4140, loaded it into a robotic arm, which then held the bar against a spinning Cubitron belt. The robot ground about an inch of a bar off in less than 30 seconds, shooting a steady stream of sparks. Then the arm returned to the bar, the 3M guy grabbed it and handed it to me. It was only mildly warm on the ground end. Pretty crazy stuff. Of course, I have no idea what the optimal speed and pressure is for this job, but I do know the Cubitron 2 handled the thick yoke plates much better than the emery cloth ever did. The frame is designed around 27.5 plus wheels, but I also want to have clearance for 29er wheels and everything looks spot on. Now it's time to clean it up a little and take all the sharp edges off. And I gotta say, the miters turned out pretty nice. A quick check on chainring clearance, and once again, everything looks good. In the next video, I'll get the chainstay end of the yoke ready, braise the chainstay plugs onto the dropouts, and do some initial sizing of the chainstays. If you haven't watched my other videos in the series, go check them out. And if you want to see how the rest of the build goes, be sure and hit the like and subscribe buttons so you'll see the next video when it comes out. Thanks for watching, take care, see you next time.